even with like the the original like before all the remix stuff like it seemed like they didn't know how to uh how to do anything which kind of surprised me it being a label backed by like a ceo for like the former ceo of like warner or whatever it's the network <laughs> They posted two TikToks and they thought the song was going to go from what I assume. It didn't go like as, I don't know, the way that I guess they projected. And yeah. I told them like my preference, like I also told them like I'm cool with like the original guy. So just, just hurry up and just do it. That's, that's how I feel. But like I just told them like I'm kind of like with whatever. Yeah, you have to understand. A lot of these labels, man, they have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> like so they're really, to figure out when it comes to marketing there's a lot of people who are happen to be standing next to somebody who blows up right and then they you, they leverage that and then when you're talking about coming from inside of a label that's a completely different muscle than actually understanding how to really build a mar artist from ground up like when i'm working in this big machine have all these resources and really you're still playing a numbers game versus really cultivating and understanding which levers to pull when and how these things work. Like they don't, they don't get that. Like they, they understand a bigger machine. So it's not a surprise that a label doesn't understand how, what to do for me. I mean, a lot of labels hire other third party marketers. TikTok for, for instance, like to not even understand the the cadence and how much you have to experience before you take it to a certain level there's a whole threshold and in, in an experimentation you have to ha you have to have the ability to understand that that's a part of the process because everything doesn't hit immediately right? Right. So, but most of them they're probably trying to stay lean and let's just put it somewhere to hit and every move is like oh shit i hope this one is the one versus staying in something long enough to blow it up like that's why they're probably switching to this artist outside of some other political reasons it's like let's switch to this producer and look he has more followers that means the song's gonna do better and versus prop maybe a better remix who knows if the i don't know what this, the remix is gonna sound like but it could be a better remix with this other guy that has potential to go further if you know what you're doing versus a song that is just going to give you some passive plays because it happens to be on this art this person's um, playlist. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's something to navigate and something just to continuously keep in mind. The ultimate relationship is if you can get like the label backing money wise and hey, you guys can do some of this upper level stuff when it comes to industry connections, certain publications or relationships. But when it comes to my marketing at the core, hey, let me handle that. Or whoever I already paid, let them handle that. And that's not their core competence. Even though marketing used to have a sense of core competence with labels, but really so much of the marketing was more controlled PR and, and distribution. And we had a monopoly on that. And for whatever reason, most labels, even indie, it surprised me, surprises me some of the smaller labels that you would think would be boutique that are how much they don't understand the actual marketing, even their in-house marketers. Some of them will still hire their own marketers because it's cheaper for them, but that's the issue. Many of them will hire marketers that are cheaper for them just so they can have more role versus hiring them based off of the actual competence and ability to make the track go. That's just, you know, my two cents and, and some of what I've seen and it's something for you to understand and navigate and how you either continue to deal with the labels or where you decide to go with certain things in the future. But at least you got this experience where, hey, maybe if you do another singles deal, if, right? I'm sure you're not excited about doing one of those. Right? Big if now, yeah. Um, yeah. Like if you did one of those, then you have this context now.